Everyone loves a great attack on the ball. But a vast majority of kills comes off a great first contact or pass. Today's passing tip of the day, gold medal squared, wrists and hands together. Now having a solid platform is the first step in becoming a great passer. And when I look at the top liberos around our country and around our world, they share this one thing in common, a solid platform with wrist and hands together. Now to do this, I like to start with my dominant hand down and my index fingers crossing at a 90 degree angle. I place my rest of my fingers down, leave them where they're at, and I fold my hands over so that my thumbs are touching and the soft parts of my palms are touching and they're exactly symmetrical. This ensures a great platform from which to pass or to dig. Now common pitfalls include uneven wrists and hands, Sometimes the wrists slide forward, or sometimes one is higher than the other. Another common pitfall I see is when people try to open up their arms and palms, and the wrists and hands don't stay together. Keep in mind that we're trying to pass off the bone, and not off the soft part of our hand. The ball bounces off the bone. And here's a little pro tip. I actually like to angle my wrists up slightly so that they're level with my forearm, or even slightly up. This encourages wrists and hands together without introducing a lot of extra tension in the forearms and in the shoulders. Hey, thanks for being with us today. Join us next time for our tip of the day. Until then, be safe, stay positive, wear your mask, and let's get through this together.